Hello folks, this is Thomas again. I'm going to start building my gasifier like uh, Flash has had done. But let's take a look at this older version. What I got here is just a tank that's fully enclosed. It wasn't real good enclosed as I had leak leak out. And you could, you could have saw that. Up here I was doing way too small. Like I had a quarter inch there and this is a half inch so lesson one don't go too small in your piping to save money i could have not been very lucky and it could have exploded but it didn't thank god so i'm still here okay like uh flash zero zero one usa I'm using the same guy from Northern Tools. It's a Martin wheel. There might be a Martin dealer near you that you can get a rim, but the only dealer I had near me only had a tube. So just like him, just like a flash, there's this bead right here. That's where that, that uh, steel on the inside is. I'm going to cut this on this side of it. Then we're going to come up here and cut this lip off. I just got this rim today. This tank, the old compressor tank, didn't work. Well, it was a jury rig to begin with, but you know, it happens. So I'm going to be doing this in short spurts. Not all of this is going to be filmed one day, obviously. Because I'm still learning this stuff. But uh, this tank is a, let's see, 26 gallon, 5 air compressor. So, uh, let's see, try to give you some measurements here. Everybody likes measurements. Okay, this tank is about. 16 inches in diameter, thereabouts. And it's about three feet tall. I might cut it in half, make two, I don't know yet. But, and as always, as everybody says, use PPE, personal protection equipment. Always use it because you can, all, you can get yourself hurt. You may think it's just a ramble on, but it might be that one time where he's like, oh man, this guy should have said something. Well, use personal protection equipment. Don't get hurt. All right. You come back. I should have it all cut apart. Getting ready to weld. Now, I'm cutting it. You can see where I'm cutting. I'm cutting right above that weld. Okay. This is where you're going to end up at. Okay. That's where you're cutting. This is just a little reference for some of you guys that may not be completely understanding it. You're getting right inside that right inside that lip there. And it's not very thick either. Alright. It's starting to get dark out here, so I'm going to stop it for tonight. Okay, I got the uh, I got the rim cut off from the top. Goes up there like that. Not sure if I got too much off, but I guess I'm going to find out. Yes, of course. Yeah, silly me, right? And this will go inside there like so. I clean it up and uh, get it welded in. Where'd that tape measure might go? Now, well, anyway, if I'm not mistaken, that hole is probably about three inches. Oh, here's my. Okay. A 
do it this way. There, in there. That hole is, yeah, I'm gonna say two inches and three quarters. If you wanted three inches, yeah, you can grind it down, grind it out if you'd like. Just make sure you don't make your hole too big or you're gonna be hitting your holes. And then the bell when he goes on there, you won't be able to throw your bolts back down. I got all this sharp ass sharp stuff on here. Grind it up. And right, we'll be in the next phase. So this is Thomas out. But for this is part of it anyway. See you in the morning.